Hi and welcome to my sixth uh, YouTube video tutorial on how to use Business Objects Web Intelligence and today I'll be showing you how to manually create comparatives like the one you see here on your screen year to date, prior year to date, current month and prior month and also I'll show you how to create variance uh, variables in Web Intelligence. I am going to start off by creating a new report based on the Island Resort Marketing Universe and for my variables I will select Resort, Invoice Dates and as my measure I will select Revenue. For a filter I will select Invoice Date and I will select between and for my first date I will select 1104 and my second one will be a prompt and I'll be calling my prompt statement date colon gonna run my query and it will prompt me to select my second date and I will enter 7306 hit run query and I will firstly get rid of all this stuff and I'll be dragging in resort. The next thing we're going to do is somehow capture the information you entered here in your prompt and store that in a variable and we're going to use that variable as the basis for our comparative calculations. So we're going to create a new variable called v user response response oops and i'm going to use the user response function user response <coughs> and in order to capture uh, the prompt we need to enter the name of the prompt which is in our case called state colon and I didn't made a typo there okay see if it works sometimes it doesn't work the first time like now and you just simply refresh your report and it should populate your uh, user response variable like you see here the information entered in the uh, in the prompt and that feeds through to the v user response variable is of a data type called string but in order to create our comparatives we we need to do date manipulations so we're going to use different date functions and you can't you, the first thing we will need to do then is to convert our user response to a date so we do that by creating a new variable and we're going to call it v statement date and that equals um, the user response variable and then we're going to use a function called to date which converts a, st uh, a string function to a date type okay and see if this works Now that we've got the statement date converted to an actual date data type, we can uh, use our date functions. So I'm gonna uh, create a new variable called v statement oh, statement year. That equals statement date, and we're gonna convert it to a year by applying the following function. and see if it works again okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a month instead of a year and we're going to replace year by month and that will give us the month of the user response and we get here the month name I am interested in the month number because we're going to use it in calculations so I'm going to change this to month number of year and 
and now we've got a month number okay so we've got we've got everything we need from the user response side the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, apply some date functions based on the actual invoice date so I'm going to create a new variable and I'm going to call it vrev year and the formula will be year of the invoice date and that will convert my invoice date to a year next thing uh, I'm going to convert the invoice date to a month so I can duplicate this variable I just created and I'm going to call it vrev month and I'm going to replace this again to month number of year Okay, so now we've got everything in place to calculate our, uh, our comparatives. So that will be the next thing we're going to do. I will delete the, um, all these test columns here. And I'm going to insert a new column. And I'm going to call this uh, year to date revenue. That will be our first comparative and I will select my revenue, drag my revenue in here and delete this row and I'm <coughs> so in order to create a revenue I am going to apply a WHERE clause WHERE revenue year equals the statement year, that's the year of the, uh, the statement date and revenue month is less than or equal to statement month and this should give our year-to-date revenue next thing we're going to do is we're going to do prior year to date so I'm going to insert a new column to the right I'm going to give it the name prior year to date and let me convert this uh, to a variable and you can quickly do that by the cr clicking the create variable button and I'm going to call this year to date rev so in order to do our prior year to date I can simply copy it copy this variable and rename it to prior year to date and the only thing I need to change now is prior year that's uh, we're going to go a year back so I'm going to do my statement year minus one and that will give us our prior year to date number okay next thing I'm going to do is create a variance column where I select uh, where I calculate my year to date revenue minus my prior year to date revenue copy this variable and then minus my prior year to date revenue oh, typo oh, without the rev and that will give us our variance next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a current month calculation and we're going to start off by dragging in our revenue where revenue year equals the year we've entered in our prompt because that's our current year and then and revenue month is equal to the month we've entered in our prompt that's v statement month click on ok and we're going to convert it to a variable this is called uh, current month rev and give the header a name current month rev 
Next thing we're going to do is create the prior month. I can simply copy most of the current month, uh, most of the code in the current month. Prior month rev. And the only thing we're going to do is now we want to go one month back. So we're going to do where the statement month is minus one. Okay. Try in the prior month column. And now we're going to create a variance one for this one as well. So we're going to do current month rev minus prior month rev. Okay, and the last thing I need to do is give the header a name. Okay, so this is how you create uh, comparatives uh, manually in Business Objects Web Intelligence. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for my next tutorial.